Welcome to Unreal Gems. In this video, we are going to take a look at the localization options in the packaging settings of Unreal Engine. Okay, so we are going to see how we can choose the localization settings for packaging or game with our translations. Let's go to project settings. First, I already open, opened it, so we have it right there. Let's go to the packaging options. In the packaging tab, we need to open up the advanced options. First option that we can see in advanced options is localizations to package. By default, no other localization apart from the native one is going to be packaged, so we need to select them. If we show all, lots of cultures pop up that we cannot use, so let's just choose show localized, and with that we can see only what we have localized. So we have English, and remember that we did Spanish Spain, so we can also check that. And with that, our translations will pop up in our game. But this is not the only option that we need to choose properly, because with this we are going to see everything translated, but if we don't pay attention to internationalization support, we are going to see some elements that don't change. By default, English is selected, but as I said earlier, it is not going to be enough if we have added other languages, like for example Spanish. So let's see what I mean. If we open up with only English, you are going to see that, that when I change the language option, for example, in here, if, uh, if I choose Spanish, you can see that it comes up as ES, ES not Spanish, Spain, Espanol, España. If we choose instead of that ifix, so the second option, which is um, the acronym of English, French, Italian, German, Spanish, as you can see, if we choose that one, it overlaps better with the languages that we have localized. So in this case, Spanish, the S in ifix. So there is no ES. English, Spanish, but if we now execute the game, you can see that Spanish, Spain changes to Espanol, España, and not ES dash ES or something like that. This is going to pop up some other places, so be careful. Just know that you need to choose the proper one. If you are wondering why this is the default, we could choose all instead of English and cover all the languages. Well, that's because we are trying to minimize the executable size. So if we choose all, it's going to occupy more. It's going to be bigger, the executable. So that's the reason. English, for example, only is 1.77 megabytes. So you can see that it's quite small. If we choose instead of that um, ifix, we are going to see that it is 2.38 megabytes. So in this case, we cover more languages, but more size. If we go ahead and add CJK to ifix, it's going to be 5.99 megabytes. So we are adding Chinese, Japanese, and Korean to the other languages. CJK on its own, it's 5 megabytes dot 16, well, 5 dot 16 megabytes, and all it's going to be 15 dot 3 megabytes. So you can see that as long as we keep the languages simpler, we have better executable size, so lower executable size. It's uh, smaller. So that's the reason, uh, because we need some things for the ICU library, the internationalization library in Unreal Engine, if you remember for, from the first slides. So that's the, the main reason why we need to choose ifix, and that's pretty much it. English, French, Italian, German, and Spanish. We are not localizing French, Italian, or German, but we are localizing Spanish. And since there are no other options, well, 
we need to choose that one. So that's the easiest um, options that we need to change and will be the most common ones, but we can have other um, changes that we need to make, like for example, for different platforms having different options. You can do that in the default game INI and the PS4 game INI. So in this case, on the default INI, we are going to have IFIX and English and Spanish, but in the PS4, we are, we are going to have IFIX CJK and we are going to also have English and Japanese. That, that's why we changed the internationalization preset and we also changed the cultures to a stage. So that's it for having different settings for different platforms. These INI files are located inside the content folder, so inside the project folder, the config uh, folder, sorry, not, not the content one. You are going to find there the game in INI files, like for example for the PS4 here and for the default settings. So with that, the only thing left to do is package your game. So we have chosen all of the settings and now we just need to package it so that anybody without the engine installed can execute our game. So we are going to go to the Windows platform and we are going to go to package project. And with that, we are going to be able to package it. I've already packaged a version, but let's go ahead and create in the ifix folder another folder so that it doesn't fail because if you package it in an existing folder in which you already packaged something, it's not going to work. So I just created a new folder and set the output there. You can choose show output log so that you can see if it errors out or something and see the warnings. Usually you don't have to worry about yellow text. If you see red, then you have to worry. In my case, it has finished properly, as you can see. So we are going to go ahead and test it out. So let's just go to that new folder in which we packaged our game and open up that Windows folder and double click on the executable. That's going to take you to the game. I have set my operating system to English, so that's why we can see it in English. You can see that everything is working properly, no weird symbols or anything, and the game is properly set to English. It's going to take a little while because I'm recording and all of that, but don't worry about it. Let's go ahead and create a shortcut just to test the Spanish localization from the beginning instead of switching inside the game. If we add the culture switch, remember with uh, ESES, we are going to have the game in Spanish. Let's see if it works out well. If we click OK and we execute the shortcut, you can see that Everything is popping up in Spanish and everything is working properly. You can see Cargando, Orbes, everything is in Spanish instead of English. Well, that's it for this video. As you can see, the process is pretty simple and there is not much else to say. If you have liked the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. We'll see each other in the next videos. Let's go.